We have an update on the Chambers County woman accused of killing her fifth husband. Sarah Hartsfield has been trying to get her $2 million bond lowered. And today, the State Court of Appeals issued an opinion saying her bond is fine where it is. ABC 13's Micah Hatfield has been following the twists and turns in this case since it broke February of 2023. She's here to break down a lot more on this one, Micah. Well, Eric, as you can imagine, this was a long awaited answer for Sarah Hartsfield, who has been in the Chambers County Jail since she was arrested in February of 2023. Likely, though, not the one that she was looking for. Her husband, Joseph Hartsfield's cause of death is listed as complications from the toxic effects of insulin. She is charged in his murder. In the year and a half she's been locked up, Hartsfield has been arguing that she can't afford her bail and that the amount is oppressive. Her bond has gone from $5 million to $4.5 million to $4 million. Well, then, according to court records, Hartsfield told a bail bondsman over a recorded jail phone line that she could get together $200,000 for her bond. So the judge last October lowered her bond to $2 million, meaning she would owe $200,000 to get out. Hartsfield then said that being in jail has ruined her credit, that two of her four cars have been repossessed, and she's behind on her bills, so that's no longer low enough. I should mention, she still owns the home she shared with her husband that's appraised at half a million dollars. Her attorneys asked the Court of Appeals earlier this year to issue an order to the court in Chambers County to lower her bond to $150,000. Today, the court issued its opinion saying that the judge has done nothing wrong by keeping her bond at $2 million. Well, Hartsfield was set for trial in July, but she has since had two attorneys withdraw from her case for various reasons. She does still have a higher defense attorney on her team, though. She's due in court this Wednesday, but no trial date is set right now.